This is the all new Nobara Linux, created by one of the most prolific individual contributors to Linux gaming, the mighty glorious Eggroll himself. Nobara Project is a distribution that brings a lot to the table. Nobara Project is a Fedora based Linux distribution that comes with many enhancements and additional features that boost your desktop Linux experience. Fedora is a fantastic distribution, but Nobara takes it to the next level. Nobara Project is a great distribution for gaming as it is built for that from the ground up. It would be an understatement if I said that Glorious Eggroll, the developer of Proton GE and Wine GE, understands gaming. And I wouldn't be wrong in saying that because of him, tens of thousands of people game comfortably on Linux. Nobara is his take on the perfect gaming distro and it is quite exceptional. Right from the kernel, tweaks and configuration to drivers and pre-installed applications, everything makes this bleeding edge distro amazing. It is also one of the best performing distributions, especially on Nvidia hardware. So let's jump right in and have a look at the stunning user interface, the blazing performance, stability, usability and see what makes Nobara such an incredible experience. Nobara Linux gives us three variants, stock GNOME, KDE Plasma and an official variant that ships with a customized version of GNOME 43. I went ahead and installed the official version and we get the Windows 7 style desktop here but with a premium touch. Right out of the box, Nobara looks high quality. A minimal yet functional menu, a sleek bottom panel and the new GNOME controls welcome you when you log into your Nobara system. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of this desktop layout, so Nobara made an impression on me immediately. By default, we're in dark mode here and Nobara uses papyrus icons which brings about a nice look. Nobara gives us the arc menu which is one of the best ways to navigate and open applications. It has a fast search so you can open applications using just the keyboard and it really boosts up your productivity. Here, arc menu doesn't show application categories but shows favorites. If you want this can be changed. Arc menu has exhaustive customization options, so you can go ahead and customize it as you want. We can easily change the desktop layouts here using the Nobara desktop layouts application. Nobara developers have included a cool little app here that lets you quickly configure the desktop with a single click. We get 6 different layout choices here and I like these very much, especially pineapple and the traditional one. Then we also get window tiling here. With this little icon, you can just make everything super productive. Window tiling is one of the must have tools for highly productive working sessions. This tool here is very easy to use and configure. Just toggle the switch and your open apps reorganize on the screen and the magic happens. This lets you effortlessly work with multiple apps open at the same time. Be it for studies or for work, window tiling can be a great tool for focus sessions. You can go ahead and turn it off if you want to go back. I love this here. Nobara is a feature rich distro that has a lot going under the hood. I like that with the user interface, the developers chose the simpler options but still went the distance to provide an interface that everybody feels at home with. GNOME and KD Plasma versions of Nobara come with stock desktop environments and are very good if you want to go with them. In the user interface department, Nobara gets top points as it leverages the already mature GNOME desktop and adds smooth tweaks on top to give us a sleek computing environment. Nobara ships with many patches and enhancements that deliver a power packed performance. Since it is a gaming oriented distro, a lot of work has gone into performance improvements. Firstly, the developer has imported many enhancements from the Linux Zen kernel over to Nobara kernel. Linux Zen kernel is an optimized version of the Linux kernel designed to provide improved performance and reliability. It brings together the best of both worlds, cutting edge features and stability, so that it can be used in a variety of cases without sacrificing quality or functionality. By utilizing advanced algorithms and schedulers, Linux Zen kernel significantly boosts system performance. Nobara kernel borrows many tweaks from this Zen kernel and this lets it maximize system responsiveness and performance. I've linked the benchmarks comparing Nobara to Linux Mint and we see a healthy improvement in gaming performance consistently. Overall, I feel that we get around 4-8% to performance gains with Zen kernel and this consistent gain in performance. That's impressive. Nobara also automatically installs proprietary NVIDIA and AMD GPU drivers which let you squeeze every ounce of performance from your hardware. And on AMD hardware, we get CPCC patches. This patch can boost your gaming performance by single digit FPS improvements. While it can even degrade the FPS in some rare situations, mostly it's good. I recommend that you try it on and off and see which works better for you. Along with these, we get many more patches for GPU, GNOME, game compatibility and the system as a whole which together add up and deliver better performance and a better overall experience. 
So in the performance department, Nobara gets a solid 10 out of 10 for the ingenious work done by Glorious Eggroll. Great work here balancing performance and stability with these imported patches. Nobara is a Fedora-based distribution that brings its own goodies to the mix and aims to offer an enhanced computing experience. It mainly aims to serve Linux gamers, streamers, and content creators. Streamers and gamers especially will find Nobara to be just the right thing. Nobara is based on Fedora, so it has a life support of around 13 months. It also means you get a fresh system with new package versions, which come with newer and better features. As a Linux enthusiast, I always found Fedora's release cycle to be awesome. You get well-tested and fresh packages. You're not left in the last year like on some of the popular distros. Fedora for me and for many hits that sweet spot between reliable packages and cutting-edge tech. With Nobara, it's the same case. Here, you'll get new packages with the latest tech and Nobara even feels better than Fedora in some cases. From a usability point of view, especially for Nobara's intended audience, Nobara does some things plausibly. Nobara installs restricted multimedia codecs, NVIDIA, and even AMD proprietary drivers to squeeze out max performance. It does this automatically with user confirmation. It also lets you install Proton GE, OBS Studio, Gamepad drivers, Discord, and Kanan Live so the entirety of the gaming and streaming pipeline is ready for you to get going. All this on a Fedora base. So if you want a cutting edge distro that's also fine tuned for gaming, Nobara will really make you happy. After installation and the welcome setup, you're ready to get gaming. Stability wise, Fedora is very well tested, but at times some packages can behave in unexpected ways because they are very new. Nobara too can be susceptible to this. I did experience similar issues here which I'll talk about in a bit. But for most, Nobara will be a very good experience. Usability wise, let me put it out there that Fedora can be difficult at times. Getting NVIDIA drivers to work and the interoperability between certain niche packages can be a cause for headaches. Nobara solves this by automating everything. And Nobara comes from a pro in the Linux gaming scene, so the usability is very good here. Nobara Linux is based on Fedora and gets the majority of its packages from Fedora repositories. So the software availability is high class here. We get new and well-tested packages which you can install easily. For Nobara specific packages, the developers maintain their own repositories. One thing that I liked here is that RPM Fusion is enabled by default and that means the software availability here increases significantly. Fedora is very strict in enforcing the openness of packages. That is a great practice. Most Linux users tend to be very privacy conscious and they appreciate Fedora's software philosophy. But this also means that many top software including some drivers are not available on Fedora. To overcome this limitation, we can use RPM Fusion. Many top software like VLC Media Player, OpenShot Video Editor and many more can only be installed using RPM Fusion and that's enabled here by default. Nobara also brings its own graphical package manager called Nobara Package Manager which gives us in-depth control over package management. The GNOME software store shows us applications and not individual packages. This means that many command line applications and packages cannot be installed directly from here. You need to install those manually from the terminal on Fedora. But on Nobara, we get this. This shows us individual packages and lets you install them. List of all the packages available from all the repositories is shown here and you can even search for them. This is just like the Synaptic Package Manager on Ubuntu and I love this addition. Power users will find it very useful. Overall, installing and managing software is very simple on Nobara and the out-of-box experience with regard to software management is better than Fedora in my experience. Moving on to the main topic of the night, Nobara is a Linux distro that is optimized for gaming. Nobara has certain advantages that set it a level above other distros in the gaming department. First one being performance. I already covered how Nobara out of the box delivers better performance than other systems. One comparison that I want to make here is Nobara vs Windows. On the same hardware on most games, you can expect around 5 to 10% increase in FPS. Considering that this performance gain is for free, you're not buying any software nor upgrading your hardware, you're getting this for free. That sounds like a sweet deal to me. Next, I want to talk about compatibility. Nobara includes a wide range of kernel tweaks, drivers and software that are specifically designed to make your gaming experience better. Many games that might have problems running on other distros run fine here. Nobara gives us Steam, Lutris, Wine and Proton out of the box. There's no installation and setup hassle here. Everything is ready. Install Nobara, install your games either using Lutris or Steam and start gaming. Configurations to make these games more compatible are generally handled by these software automatically. 
Next up is the ease of getting started. Gaming on Linux has had a light year leap in the last few years. Before that, it was really, really difficult to set up gaming on Linux. It was possible, but difficult. Nobara, by bundling everything you could need, makes it very easy to get started with gaming on Linux, and this ease can be a big attraction for many. Finally, is the stability. Nobara ships with cutting edge versions of Wine and Proton and brings many patches that are not easily installable on Fedora. This availability of bleeding edge packages is why many advanced Linux users gravitate to Arch Linux for gaming. But with Nobara, you are getting a relatively stable system that is Fedora under the hood, but you are not missing out on the latest tech. These 5 reasons make Nobara very, very attractive when it comes to gaming on Linux. Yeah, it's a niche distro and people are still adopting it. It's still growing, I agree. But for the express purpose of gaming, Nobara just shines. Nobara is a very niche and developing product at the moment. But yeah, people are showing more and more interest in it and the user base is growing. Nobara is a hybrid product that does a lot of things differently and its packages come from a variety of sources and many times are customized to better suit the developer's vision. This in my experience can bring about a disharmony in the system. It might require a lot of debugging and fixing things up by the user based on his or her issues and hardware. I found that finding solutions to these issues online is not that easy at the moment. I had to google around a lot to find info. This might change in the future but right now online resources are scarce. You can join the developers discord server and people there are very helpful in discussing these issues and fixes for many issues are found there. At this moment it's also essential that people report bugs there so the developer can improve Nobara. As long as you don't have any issues, you're golden with Nobara. But if you do encounter any issues, you got some work ahead of you my friend. Give Nobara a try. If you find issues, definitely check out their discord server linked in the description below. We can say that Nobara has a comprehensive installation procedure since most of Nobara magic is brought to you during installation. Firstly, we download the ISO file from the Nobara website, link in the description below. You can download Nobara with your preferred desktop. Then we flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Nobara installation is fairly simple with everything here being handled by the Calamaris installer. Select your language, time zone and preferred partitioning scheme and input your user details and Calamaris will install Nobara in around 15 minutes depending on your internet speed. Reboot after installation and the second part of the installation is done here. While the operating system itself is installed and ready to use, things like restricted multimedia codecs, GPU drivers and additional applications are installed with your permission here. I highly recommend that you don't skip anything here as these are crucial components of the intended Nobara experience. Based on your distance from the mirrors, this step might take a long time for some people. For me it was okayish. But we have to go through with these steps or else you are just getting a Fedora installation. I did have some problems here though. Nvidia driver installation didn't really work and it kept spamming me with this message every time I booted into Nobara. If I click yes, it would tell me that it's installing Nvidia driver for 15 minutes and then show the completed dialog and ask me to restart the computer. On boot up, I see this dialog again. Domamu, I come to bargain. I repeated the cycle for 5 times then moved on and installed the drivers manually, which again didn't work. But many people with Nvidia GPUs have given good reviews of Nobara. For most people, everything works smoothly. But yeah, it didn't work for me, so looks like the driver installer needs some polishing up. Nobara Welcome app takes you through the startup and lets you install things like Blender, Proton GE, Gamepad drivers and stuff that tune up your experience for things that Nobara is built for. Overall, Nobara installation is simple, but the second part that is setting up the system after installation, well that can take some time and some patience. Personally, I feel that Nobara has a lot of value to offer. Gaming on Linux has reached a whole new level, both quality wise and quantity wise. Nobara is capitalizing on this new wealth of gaming to make Linux a more enjoyable platform for gamers. And it brings tangible benefits in terms of better performance and better game compatibility out of the box. You'll be gaming quite a lot, Nobara looks very attractive. Apart from gaming too, Nobara can be a great system for day to day usage. It's based on Fedora, it has RPM Fusion enabled by default, so any software you might need, both personal and for work purposes, can be installed quickly here and this gaming distro can just as well be your work machine. While Nobara is a gaming distro at heart, the user interface and the operating system itself is a full-fledged desktop computing system. Work and play, both are taken care of here. Nobara comes from an experienced developer and you can expect that quality here. Definitely give Nobara a try. Download link is given in the description below. 
I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts about Nubara, so use the comment section below and we'll talk. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And check out my video of the 15 fantastic Flatpak apps that you must have installed in 2023. I got some cool apps covered there. Alright, this is Linux Techs and I'll see you in the next one.